people on the internet, it's Andrew's boy. Now today I'm doing a tutorial on how to install Windows 10 on a brand new hard drive or a brand new um, computer. So without further ado, let's get started. So when prompted, press F2 or F12 or whatever your BIOS is and go to the BIOS, whichever it will either be F2 f12 or delete mine is f2 so when prompted click on this so now you're going to want to go over to boot and you want to um, put your cd-rom drive to the top of the list so mine would be um where, where is it shift up no not shift up oh it'll be um Shift, just press, you have to press shift and plus to move it up, minus to move it down. But it's not working for me for some reason, the um, up and down. So I would do that and then you would click exit and save changes. And then it should boot into the operating system setup. You'll have to set the operating system up and then it will install and I'll show you how to install that right now. I'm also going to do tutorials on how to use operating systems, how to get operating systems and exactly how to make your own tutorials yourself because I want to start doing this kind of thing. And um, so you're going to want to wait. Now this may take a long long time because whenever you're booting into Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 setup you might have noticed that it doesn't say loading files it, it, this is why this is the loading files that you're on right now so it may take a little while oh there we go it's done now we're just gonna load through this oh there we go so because I'm in England I'm gonna choose English United Kingdom as selected um, you can ob obviously you can scroll through this and you know you can you can choose United States if you want there you go English United States you can choose that but I'm gonna choose United Kingdom so I do go on English now you're gonna say Windows install now and you're gonna let the setup perform its magic let's say um, let's load for this quick So right now you're going to want to type in your Windows 10 Pro product key and once we have done that I'll be back when I have typed in my Windows product key. So I have just typed in my product key and now we're going to accept the license. Now what you're going to want to do is because this is a new hard drive or a new computer whichever one you want to say we cannot select the upgrade because the upgrade won't work. The upgrade won't work altogether when you've booted from the CD or DVD. It just won't work. So you're going to want to go to Custom, Install, Advanced. And as you see, there's absolutely nothing on this hard drive. You have 100% 60 gigabyte out, out, out of 60 gigabyte. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to New. And we're going to want to, and we're going to want to apply. And then, yes. So there you go. Now we've got uh, a new hard disk drive. It's as you see up there. It's created a little system reserved up there. And now we're gonna go to next. And now it's gonna um, copy our files and install Windows, and then you'll be good to go. Now we're gonna. Now I'll be back with you guys once this is done. You will get restarts throughout the process. Now let me warn you that when you're booting from the CD or DVD you'll get many pop-ups saying press any key to boot from CD you only have to press it once once it's already once you've already clicked boot from CD or DVD or pressed enter you'll have a restart do not and after and if when the restarts happen you get prompt saying press any key to boot from CD or DVD don't press anything just let it boot from the hard drive let let the computer go it will say press any key to put it from cd do not press anything only press it the first time you boot from the cd if you know what i'm saying 
But after that, do not click anything. Do not press anything. Just just let just let it boot from the hard drive because after that, it would already be installed on the hard drive. Um, so um, it's just having its restarts right now. Okay, so we're back and um, here you go. You have we're on the setup screen right now. Windows has been installed. Now you can customize your settings if you want. But uh, but for the length of this tutorial, we're going to just use Express. So usually you should see something like this. Say so like, hi, this won't take long, and we're happy to have you here, and all that stuff. So it'll take a little bit of time. Just, just let, let it do its stuff. Just let it do its stuff. I would say just a moment, and I'll say, who owns this PC? I'm just going to say, I own it. I was gonna load and obviously you're gonna put your email but I'm not gonna I'm just gonna skip this step and my username is going to be um weaponized the name that I always use and I wouldn't really recommend putting the password where well, you can to be more secure but for me I don't put in passwords there's no point in my opinion there's no point you guys might think otherwise like oh no it's, it's more immune from hacking updates have completed now we'll set up your applications now you are on the desktop of a brand new windows 10 as you see i can just click on file explorer and you know just check that everything works and for now let's power and but now we're gonna rest this thing and say shut down so it's gonna 